And then also, um, how do you do it? Like, what are some of the ways that you've figured out how to do it? What are the challenges that you faced in bringing your full self to work? Let me start from the other side, from Sarah. Oh gosh. Um, so, you know, bringing your full self to work is is a process. I mean, I think when you first kind of start out, it's fiddly because you're you're getting used to where you are and and getting to know the people that you work with, and there's a gradual process of, of them becoming kind of accustomed to you. Um, but as you go on, it's important, like when you're when you're looking for jobs, to actually go in with who you are in mind. And when you're interviewing, really consider your perspective on things. And uh, like for me, as as a trans person, um, it's relatively easy when I first start interviewing to see like, do I feel comfortable here? Is this a home for me? Is this I'm going to be spending eight hours a day here? Can I do that? comfortably. And uh, it's so much easier to find a place that's appropriate for you than to make yourself appropriate for the place you are. So for me, to bring your whole self to work, it means to be unapologetic in who you are and what you represent in that space. Um, being a non-binary person, it's often hard for me to find places where I feel welcome. So it's important for me to constantly be um, coming out in ways that are strategic that allow me to um, discern whether or not a space is welcoming. Am I going to be validated? Um, what's important for me is that my skills as a software engineer are what define me in my role as a worker in somewhere. Being your authentic self is important. That is vital um, in bringing that to the workplace, making sure that you're a cultural fit. That's why I stress the emphasis on shadowing someone before you accept the job because you want to make sure that you're comfortable you know as Sarah said you're there 75% of your day you know so you want to make sure you actually fit and that you're comfortable so being your authentic self before you accept that role and while you're there you know if there's a, a way that you feel uncomfortable bring it up to management or you know if you feel like there's a disconnect try to find a middle ground with you and your team members of maybe like a team building exercise for you guys to get to know each other better. One of the things that I love doing with my team when there's a new person that comes on board, we all, I make them all go sign up for improv classes. Let's do improv, that's the perfect way to just get to know each other and just be vocal about who we are. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, I'm just gonna echo what they said and really share when you're at work what you like to do hey, I'm in this position right now, but I would love to do this. This is so interesting to me. So always just say what you really like to do. And you can, every company is on social media now. So look them up, see what they're doing, see what they're liking, see how they interact with the world via social media, because that will probably reflect how they are in their office or what they're doing. So just be yourself. 